Hey everybody, so today we're going to look at a shotgun tube light mount. And it is called the, one moment please, Streamlight MagTube Rail Black 69903STL. <laughs> Now, if you like this content, like, sub, shares, all that good stuff, I really appreciate it. it helps out the channel. Also down below, coupon codes and merch all support the channel. Help me bring more reviews like this to you guys. So, I'm just going to call this the Streamlight Tube Mount, basically, because there's a bunch of different versions. And I think they go on different guns, different uh, two planks, different lights, all that good stuff. This is the one I chose for my gun. It fits my 590. Uh, retrograde and fits the light I chose, which is a TLR1HL. So first I'm going to talk about why I chose this over other light mounts, and then I'll do the review. So if you don't want to hear why I chose it, just the review, fast forward a little bit till I stop talking about that, and then I'll do the review. So I'm going to talk about why I chose this while I take the stuff off. So I did a lot of research on tube mounts for shotguns. Um, obviously your best option, it seemed like, was going to be to replace the the foregrip here and get something like a surefire stream light something like that that had a light built in i did not want to do that because this is a retrograde and i really like the wood furniture on it like i think it's got a really nice um you know trench gun riot gun vibe hence the 1907 sling which i got off amazon for anybody wondering they always ask just reproduction 1907 sling they're like 20 bucks um so i got i went to get some kind of tube mount. Now I tried a couple different things, including a GG and G mount. I know some people have luck with them. I did not. It was wobbly. It was terrible. It uh, just did not work. And it actually started to unscrew the, uh, to the cap on the tube here. So it didn't work for me. Now, I also looked at several different weird metal mounts that um, I was almost sold on, but the problem was when you went online and started reading reviews, you noticed a lot of things. Uh, one thing in particular I noticed was a lot of people that bought it and liked it were the kind of people that basically you got the gist of they bought the shotgun, they bought the light, they stuck the shotgun with the light in their closet, and that was the end of shooting the gun. They really never shot it, they never put it through its paces, never ensured that everything was going to be sturdy. Now, 12 gauge shotguns are very violent. In, uh, on equipment. They're very harsh on equipment and break stuff. If you don't believe me, go watch some of the TFB burn down videos. 500 rounds, a lot of the equipment doesn't survive. A lot of the shotguns don't survive. Um, so I went with this because it just seemed to have a better set of reviews when you started reading. And it's polymer, which at least in my experience with this, seems to do a really nice job of holding on to the tube. Um, very simple mount. So you've got a rail, a bit of rail there you can light. Now they recommend it for their uh, SuperTech and then their uh, TL series. I imagine you could put just about any light on there. Um, again, I have a TLR1HL that I use it with, but it's real simple. Has three screws there. So to uh, to install it, all you have to do is take your barrel off right part way. Well, with my gun. I have to bring it up to, this is off the tube, but this is still on the tube. Loosen up the mount, slide it down on, slide the tube back on, put it in position to where you want it, which if you want to use this with a bayonet like I did, you basically have to get it flush up against the uh, bayonet lug, tighten it down. Now they do say don't over tighten it. They usually say that with a lot of stuff like that. Um, it's always funny because they say don't over tighten it, but they don't really mention what is too tight. But I snugged it down and I took it to the range several times. I've taken this gun play shooting a couple times. Um, probably got about three, four hundred rounds through it with the mount on. Not run into any, any issues until the very last time I took it shooting. So one of the things they said to do was once you snug it down, like after a couple days, just go back and double check it. Make sure it's still snug. Make I didn't do that because after the first two times I took it out to the range, it was still good and it didn't wiggle or move at all. So I figured it was good. Because I didn't ever check it, what happened was the final time I took it to the range, I put about 100 rounds of uh, 12 gauge through this thing. And when I got home, I noticed that it had actually slid up about a quarter inch. It hadn't shifted, the light hadn't moved, you know, and where it was positioned. Literally the mount had just moved forward about a quarter inch 
probably from the from the uh, recoil. Um, all I did was I uh, had to loosen it because it was still snug on there. I loosened it a little bit, slipped it back down, re-snugged it back up. It's been good ever since. So I'm calling that user error, not a negative on the mount. Um, if it does keep doing it, I will do an update video, but it hasn't since. So I'm calling it, um, you know, user error and I fixed it. But I really have no major complaints with this mount. Again, if you want to disassemble this particular shotgun, if you end up putting this on a 590, you will have to take the light mount out to take the, sh the barrel out. That's how most of them are. Um, most of the tube mounts are. So I don't really consider that that much of a negative. It's just something to keep in mind. But this mount works really good. I like how I can have, whoop, there we go. Do it on camera is always fun. I like how I can have it pretty much positioned, um, you know, wherever I want. Like I could have it on either side here. I went with this side because in my mind, you know, if I'm holding on to the gun like this, and I need to flip up my light, it's right there. That's why I went with a pistol grip or a pistol light on this because of the flipper rather than the button. It's easier to actuate when, uh, you know, you're going through your house finding the bad guy. But really, overall, it works pretty good for what I wanted to do. It was only about 20 bucks on Amazon, so it wasn't breaking the bank. I know some of the other mounts that I looked at were triple that price, so I didn't know quite what I was going to expect out of a $20 mount. But it seems to work pretty good. So put down below, is it something you've ever tried? Have you had good luck, bad luck? Is there another mount that I should try that maybe is even better than this one? But put down below what you think, and have a good day.